Hello and welcome back. As you can see, there are some albums behind us. Yeah. The Record Hall video not. might not have come out by now, but spoilers. So you'll you'll know. But anyway, <laughs> we are here to talk about. We're a bit late. We will be by the time the video comes out. Yeah. Anyway, Memento Mori by Depeche Mode. If, if the the long time viewers will know, Depeche Mode was kind of what began this whole journey. Because yeah. initially, if you don't know, my channel was called Tom Daniel Williams VC. And the idea was to just show off records from my collection, talk about my favorite artists in a very casual way. Uh, and it was really me and Sam thinking, should we do Depeche Mode? We both wanted to get into them. We yeah. both knew some songs, an album each, I think. Yes, that's right. Uh, and we just thought, why not? And since then, we've been doing it for nearly a year. Yeah, you brought over a year. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been out for uh, over a year. Other people have come in and joined the party. Yeah, the, the subs have slowly gone up. Um, yeah. So, and they were the first. So, yeah, so we have a, a long history with Depeche Mode, a very sentimental band for us both, I think, yeah. because it was a very enjoyable deep dive, which all of them have been enjoyable to some extent, um, even The Pretenders, which I didn't get yeah. much out of. That's I, part of the experience. You know, so. I, I enjoyed some, I found some new songs I liked, I found some new albums I liked, but um, Depeche Mode was something a bit different because we were both going in fairly blind and we were both very happy. I, I want to say surprised. I was surprised how much I came out liking so much of their stuff. And now it, now it just feels like I've known them forever. Yeah, exactly. And of course, they released a new album, Mento Mori, um, their 15th album. And we thought, well, first let's review the album, mm -hmm. give our final scores out of 10. Yep. And then re-rank Depeche Mode. Mm -hmm. um, naturally, it's only been a year, so I'm not expecting drastic change. There isn't on my list. There is change, yeah. but not massive change. So this is going to be interesting to see. Yeah. Update the record. No so pun intended. I don't know how often we'll do something like this, but yeah, maybe when an artist that we've covered releases a new album. Yeah, and then we um, can update, <clears throat> and we can change things around, show where we are with the band. Yeah, because that's the thing. Rankings are always fluid and they change. So, um, Memento Mori. Um, obviously in, in tribute, in part... To Fletch. Yep. Um, Andy Fletcher, rest in peace. So I was definitely expecting something a bit more melancholic going in, mm -hmm. which you do get in parts. Especially with the title. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you get a few songs that are very um, interested in that sort of aspect of it. But to be honest, I think most of it is kind of just regular Depeche Mode, you know, what yeah. you normally expect. Because they're quite a moody band, generally. Yes, they always have um, been. So yeah, I, I'll hand it over to you for your general thoughts about the album. Okay, so where I think Memento Mori goes well is that it's a continuation of Depeche Mode having a sound. So I think it's a very consistent album in that regard. And I actually think that it's a it's a good improvement on what was their last album. So they've, they've come up from spirit, in my opinion. And I, agree. I, did, yeah. I did get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I think the singles that we've had released so far aren't the best of the album no uh, no um ghost again ghost again is okay um i've grown to like it more on re-listen listening to it in album context it's got better coming in with the aesthetic of the whole album experience it definitely contributes to that rather than it being it's quite catchy as well once yeah. you get to know it yeah. but as a standalone song hearing it for the first time i wasn't a fan and then my cosmos is mine got released i know you didn't listen to it in preparation no. for the video but i did before the album came out and i thought it was an improvement upon it but then listening to the rest of the album i found it wasn't it's not the strongest tracks either. The four main ones for me were Wagging Tongue, which I have got stuck in my head. Um, Don't Say You Love Me, Before We Drown, and Speak To Me. Those are the four big standout tracks for That's me. That's so funny. Is I've it? written down four standout tracks and we share three. <laughs> oh, wow. So... so there you go. Those are the those are the four big recommendations, my biggest takeaway from this album. And they are really good. They're up there yeah. with they could make the top twenty songs list if we were wow, updating wow. that for me. Mm. Not all of them, mm. but one or two, two yeah. yeah. Two of them probably could get mm. into that list and push a couple off. Who knows? But we're not we're not updating the songs list no. because that's such a fluid thing anyway. Yeah. That would be way too hard. Um, as it stands, though, Mento Mori definitely contributes to the discography. It's not something that's gone unwarranted. I think that they've had motivation for doing it. Um, I have a funny feeling that this may be the last word from Depeche Mode. But if that is the case, 
It's a better way to go out than spirit. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It feels a lot more like a a grand finale. And I think if that is the way it goes, then I will be happy with that. What's your score out of 10? Um, eight. 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 Wow. I've gone for a seven. I think it's good. Um, I'm kind of here to fan the flames of some ridiculous hot takes I've been hearing. Um, saying it's their best album, that's just nonsense. <laughs> it, I think at, at its best, it is a callback to what made their old sound work. You know, maybe pre-Exciter, um, that sort of 90s era. Um, sort of, you know, you violate uh, Songs of Faith and Devotion and, and Ultra. That sort of era is what I'm most reminded of mm. with this album, um, which I like all those albums, so that worked for me, but it doesn't surpass those albums for me. Um, I... I actually really don't like My Cosmos Is Mine. <laughs> I think it's really just bland. Um, I think it doesn't work as an opener. But Wagging Tongue is amazing. Yeah. That's a great song. And that's when the album starts for me. Ghosts Again has grown on me a lot. I actually really like it now. It's not one of my four favourites, but I think it's pretty good. Uh, don't Say You Love Me, gorgeous song. Mm -hmm. The strings on it are fantastic. Um, my Favourite Stranger is pretty good. has a really nice melody to it. Um, and then you get a Martin Gore track with Soul With Me, and I've sort of talked about how Martin Gore's voice has waned a little bit. Um, he sounds better on this than he did on, is it Delta Machine that he last sang on, I think? Yeah. Um, I think he's sort of come to terms with what his voice is now compared to what it was. Yeah, and he's playing to his strengths. But it, it still isn't as good as his amazing angelic voice that he had in the 90s, which I was just head over heels for. But given that they're in their 60s, exactly, they exactly. really are pulling it I mean, together. And Dave it sounds, sounds good. incredible. He does. He's he sounds still got it. Like he hasn't aged a day. It's no, incredible. His voice is still brilliant at um, 61. Caroline's Monkey, I'm not a big fan of. Mm. Um, I think it sounds a bit out of place with yeah. the rest of the album. Um, I think Before We Drown, uh, the songwriting is not as good as what has come before, but the sound is really nice. Um, People Are Good has a very nice bounce to it. A um, very dark sound on that song. It's probably the one song that I really didn't like on Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't save um, that one. And then uh, I think the last two songs are brilliant as well. Never Let Me Go and Speak To Me ends the album really nicely. So yeah, my four songs were Wagging Tongue, Don't Say You Love Me, Speak To Me and Never Let Me Go was my other one. So yeah, I'd give it a seven. I think it's a good album. I think it's their best album since probably playing the angel for me, which I obviously liked a lot more than the sound. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of where I lie on it. I think it's good. I think it would be a good way to send them off. But I also think that at this point, this was the last, like Depeche Mode don't have that much to say at this point. No. I think spirit was a stretch. Yes. And this is okay. This is better, but it doesn't mean that I want more. They definitely I think, had something to say here. That's yeah, the thing. And I think, I think that, that they shouldn't feel that they need to be releasing more albums because I think at this point, tour your old songs and and yeah, keep we'll going. be happy. Yeah. So then there's the question of the re-ranking. Indeed. Um. Do you want to go first on that as well? If you want me to. Yeah. I mean, it would make I mean, sense. I mean, I've got some surprises. Okay. Coming. Okay. Um. My bottom four are the same. Yeah. My that bottom five are the same. Yeah. Um. Oh, I still got broken frame above some great award. What is that? <laughs> And I think I think that um, the Delta Machine might is that that's my number ten, mm -hmm. um, and it it was my number yeah it was my number ten, mm -hmm. and now it's my number eleven. Okay. So Momentum Mori has come up a bit. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I have swapped around Spirit and Ultra now. Um, so, so yeah, which one's ten is Ultra's number higher. yes. Okay. Number ten is Spirit. Number nine is Ultra. Mm -hmm. Ultra's grown on me, mm -hmm. which is great. Yeah. Good news. I've actually saved a lot of new like songs, mm -hmm. yeah, like that I hadn't saved before. Yeah. I've got a lot more out of it, which is strange. This might surprise you though. Construction Time Again is now my number eight. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's really dipped. I think the songs I really like have suffered now with overplay, uh, um, and the ones that I didn't like before have dragged it down again yeah. but still great album still really enjoy the songs from it so i love to push vote mm. it's a it's a hard ranking at that point sounds the universe has also gone down to number seven yes wow um Momentum as has right. as has music for the masses which is my number six Ooh, top five but you may notice now that songs of faith and devotion is in the top five yeah so it's memento time. mori indeed indeed Songs of Faith and Devotion at number five. Memento Mori at number four. Mm -hmm. I cannot give it a medal. Mm -hmm. Not yet, anyway. Mm. Maybe it has to grow on me, but it can't be um, yeah. a medal-winning um, album. Mm -hmm. What has now got bronze? 
Have you worked out no. what's missing? No. Exciter has climbed up to bronze medal. I've saved a few, couple more songs from it. <laughs> I've found that the, the songs I did like before have really grown on me. Uh, I just, it's a really solid sound. Um, a couple of the songs are very weird. They are. There's no getting around that. But I think in general, that late 90s, early 2000s is all shot up for me. And if we give it a little bit more time, it, it doesn't feel right giving inside to the good, good bronze medal. But that's how you feel. Yeah. It is. And I do think it's a really strong album and quite underrated. But the, the, the silver and gold, they are, they're leagues above again. The Black Celebration Violator, they remain. They're still a lot better than Exciter. I'm not trying to say that Exciter is only just a little bit worse than yeah. Black Celebration Well, I Violator. like Exciter more than Sounds of the Universe, but not by much. So. But, but <laughs> as I have said, Violator is now a 10. Mm. Black Celebration is a strong 9. Yeah. And then the next four, eights. they're all strong 8s and yeah. they can be shuffled yeah. around as and when. Um, Songs of Faith and Devotion is a really pleasant surprise great, for me, though. I've got yeah. so much more out of it than I did on first listen. So, like, that's the thing to focus on. And I think with a little <laughs> bit more time... Yeah, don't plan. focus on the bad things, Tom. No. <laughs> but the big recap here is Memento Mori number is at four. number four. Wow. Okay. Well, similarly to you, not much change at the bottom. My bottom five are the same. So yeah, Broken I'm Frame, right. 15, Speak and Spell, 14, Sounds of the Universe, 13, Spirit at 12, Exciter at 11. Um, Delta Machine has dropped. I had it at number seven initially. Now it's number 10. It's gone down in my estimations too. I a bit. It's a good sound, but it's more forgettable than their other ones. And I think I was a bit overexcited with it. Um, then I've got Memento Mori at number nine. Right. Which... Yeah, I guess I'm less high on it than everybody else on planet Earth, which is fine, <laughs> including Sam. Um, <laughs> my number eight is still music for the masses. Um, and my number seven is construction time again, which is leaked You've up from now got nine. it yeah. higher than me. <laughs> yeah, what a, what a turn of events. Um, I just found myself going back to tracks like Love in Itself and Everything Counts. Yeah. Obviously, I always loved Dan Ben. That was always my favourite. It is album, a really good song. Those other two really grow on me. And I don't know, for the early synth pop sound, it's definitely better than the first two albums. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my top six is the same albums. Different order. Slightly. Um, I've got Playing the Angel now at six. It was at number four. Um, and then... Pleased to hear it drop. Ultra <laughs> is at number five. And Songs of Faith and Devotion is at number four. Top three is the same. Song Great Reward at number three. Black Celebration at number two. And obviously Violator at number one. So... Number four, number nine for Memento Mori. Um, maybe they'll release another album in three years' time and we'll be doing we'll this be all over back, again. Yeah. And then you'll be like, actually, Exciter's at the bottom now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, and the next one's better than Violator. Yeah. Oh, God, no, no. That won't happen. It's You'd have to perfect. be a crazy person to think that. Anyway. In my opinion, it's perfect. It's one of my favourites. Well, you did, you did proclaim it your favourite album of all time. Yeah, so. I stand by that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching this. Hopefully this will be out... Uh, soon from when we've recorded and uh if you want to hear more new music reviews i'd be interested to hear that because i, I had fun sort of listening to something yeah a, a new release new. so yeah thanks for watching let us know if you're what your depeche Mode ranking is and where memento mori ranks within it um and yeah we've got plenty of videos coming up soon and which ranking did you prefer our original or the yeah amended or version? me and sam me me versus yes. sam who have you got um, pick a side so yeah Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we will catch you soon.